Hey guys, it's a proud cat lover, and I was making a video a while ago with this earwig because it's so big and I was going to show you guys. And so, I bring it down here and it escaped the bottle. Ran around back here and went between this crack and it went down there, which is in there. So of course I'm so mad because it got away. And I don't have one. So, I got online and I read that they like decaying plant matter, lettuce, and meat and stuff. So I got some lettuce, some deli meat, I put this container and I set it here so it would crawl out. I come down here to check on it before I go to bed, and it's running by this cricket. Just running around, I was like, wah ha Because I was hoping that maybe it would draw it out. And I think turning the light on scared it too because they like dark places. But anyway, so that works. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to, I was going to put this earwig in alcohol because it preserves it, but real quick, I'll show you. This is the size of a normal earwig. Now look at this one. <laughs> this earwig, let's see, it's about three-fourths of an inch long, and this one's about an inch. So this one's just a little bit smaller than this one. And uh, I would take this one out and place this one next to it, but I'm going to pause it and hold on to it with my fingers, and it is not going to escape. Okay guys, so I decided actually I'm not going to hold on to the earwig because I don't want to get bit. But I'm going to stick this dead one that I pre-caught in here so that you can see just how much bigger this thing is. I mean, look at that. That's a ring-legged earwig, the black one. And this one here is crazy. It's like three times the width. It's probably three times the length. The thing is huge, and it's a male, because you can see the pincers on the back are huge. This And it also has wing plates. It's trying to get out. So now I'm going to pause it, and we'll stick it in alcohol, and then will stick this dead one in alcohol because I should have put it in alcohol instead of in the kill jar. Um, it'll preserve it better and then we can compare the sizes a lot easier after it's dead. Okay guys, so I'll show you real quick. This is an alcohol vial and it's pretty much a glass vial with a lid that has a piece in it that keeps the alcohol from um, evaporating as quick. And I'm going to show you because I've pinned insects before and you guys have got to see it, so I'll show you what I do when I go to stick an insect in a alcohol file. Now first, I normally use this type of alcohol. It's pretty strong and it kills them quickly so they don't suffer for long. And uh, then we're going to stick this little guy in, kill in the in alcohol vial. I can't talk tonight. Okay, so here we go. And I normally always use this blue rag here to hold on the container so I don't get alcohol on me and it keeps it from spilling. So, I'm going to do, obviously I can't um, hold it in video at the same time, but I am going to do this. That way I don't make a mess. Oop. Hold on. Okay, do not keep watching this part if you get squeamish when you see bugs die. Okay, I warned you. Okay, so it's in the alcohol now, wiggling around and doing its thing. And as you can see, it's almost dead and it's been in there for about three seconds. So it does not, it takes a lot less time for them to die in alcohol than it does in a kill jar, so it's a lot more a humane way. And scientists actually store all types of animals, mostly aquatic animals, in alcohol because it preserves their color and their body. So it's proven to be more humane and easier storage. So, with that, we'll get the little ring leg right here. And that is the length difference. This actually looks like it might be bigger than an inch. So that's the length difference, and obviously it's magnified a little bit, but you guys saw how wide it was. So anyway guys, thanks for watching. I'm not going to bore you by sticking the other one in the alcohol vial and videoing it. So, anyway guys, thanks for watching, and thanks for checking out my really cool earwig. It's pretty neat.
Have a good day, guys.